So this just happened. Obviously, it's not a good idea to drive around with a crack in your window because it can spread and cause more damage. I need to find a Walmart. I am two hours away from the Walmart. Two hours and 41 minutes. Sorry, I didn't. those extra 41 minutes. Do I have super glue in here? I don't. I just realized that I think that I may have clear nail polish in my trunk. So I'm gonna pull over on the next exit and see what I got back there. Clear nail polish. I went inside the gas station to get some super glue, but I just want y'all to know super glue does not work. It didn't dry, so I ended up just wiping it up and putting some clear nail polish on on the outside and on the inside. And then I sealed it with some tape on the outside and the inside. All right, I feel pretty good about this. We're good. Let's get on the road. Good morning. <laughs> I am so tired. I drove 13 hours yesterday. On the way back, it's been a little, not rough, just different because there has been like a change in the weather. I did not want to be cold. So I drove south to do all the Southern states, but ended up getting stuck in the snow. Well, not stuck in the snow, but I, 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 I wanted no dealings with snow. That's for sure. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to get back home. I'm ready to get back home. I stopped for breakfast and then this happened. So I'm in my trunk right now. <laughs> the last leg of my road trip and my trunk won't close. So I've had to take everything out and I'm trying to figure out why the fuck it just won't close. So it looks like I will be here for a while until I figure this shit out because I can't just drive with my trunk open and all of my stuff in it. So I'll keep you guys updated. In the meantime, it's not a bad place to be stuck in. things that I love about going to different cities and driving all over the country is meeting people and most times I meet them from the internet yeah yeah, yeah. yeah shut the fuck up anyway <laughs> I met this chick and she said that she would help me with my trunk and she was very handy very good with her hands yes very handsy and also she has a really big toolbox toolbox big <laughs> Never mind all that. She fixed my trunk and now I'm back on the road. All right, so I am nearing the end of my cross country road trip and I finally made it to the one stop that I absolutely had to come to. I am at Hippie Hollow in Austin, Texas, which is a clothing optional beach. And I am ready to let my tits hang out and enjoy the sun. But first, I need to tweeze my nipples and off we go. The parking lot is not packed, so I don't think that there are a lot of people here. I've seen about four people come up. So we'll see. I couldn't get more footage of the beach, obviously, because other people were around. But trust me when I say, go somewhere where you can be naked. That's it. Do it. Anywhere. Well, no. Don't go anywhere naked. Go anywhere where they allow you to be naked and just, just do, do it. it. Just do it. Thank me later. Oh, I didn't want to leave, especially since... I got another fucking flat tire.
You guys want to get in the van life? Things happen. Crack in my window, two tires, my trunks got fucked up. After that, I was I was done filming. I just wanted to enjoy the rest of the mm -hmm. road and just mm -hmm. have that time to myself and just soak it all in. Everything that I saw and experienced, um, that was my me time. So my message for today is to take time for yourself. Find your happiness. Take time to be alone. Get out of your comfort zone. And not live through other people's opinions and thoughts about you or what you're doing. Feels like I don't care. <laughs> The rest of the trip was just about me and just enjoying um, the road. Um, me, I appreciate you for joining me on this trip. Had we had a lot, a lot of, fun. of fun and they enjoyed you. Um, but since the trip is over, well, it's been over since March, but since we're done posting the videos, I guess, um, I guess that's it. I'm not going anywhere. You stuck with me for life. For life. <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> you heard it here first folks this bitch is staying around <laughs>